Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we are going to be jolly testing our personalities. Yes, we are. <laughs> I've never done uh, any of this stuff. You never done any of it. I already overthink everything. Okay. I don't need oh, no. fuel. Is this going to be ru ruining you? The most famous is probably MBTI. Okay, yeah, Myers Briggs. Myers Briggs. Something, something. Probably the okay. Enneagram is the other big one. Okay. And as far as I can tell online, people are hardcore dedicated to their personality test. It's probably something to do with their personality. Okay. It's like, it's like K-pop fans. Okay. You know, K-pop fans, they like love their oh, band. Hey. But they, they often hate on other bands, but then I was thinking about this, Josh. Neck. MTBI? You're giving right. it a bad it name. It sounds like a K-pop band. Oh, no. It's an acronym. There's so many acronyms in K-pop. Look, not all K-pop fans are like that, Ollie. NCT, not all K-pop fans are like that. Some of CLC, them are very loving TXT, to all people. M4A? <laughs> JYP, F 21, GOT7, Exceed, yeah, okay. AOA, SF9, B1A4. Is it Good an point, I guess. I'm is gonna say no. Okay, cool. yeah, no. that's good. I feel like we should do this simultaneously. Yes. You're doing it on the laptop, I'll do it on my phone. Yeah. Let's do it. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Ooh, okay, you can choose the level Ooh. that you agree. The thing is, the question is lots of people. Lots if it's a group of like people. 10, 15, yeah. I feel like I'm in my element. If we go to a party where there's like 300 people, I feel like you're more in your element. That's interesting because I also feel uncomfortable with 10 to 15, but comfortable with like four. I but think I know, people, I know I'm what broke. I'm going to do. Okay. You often okay. spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. That is a hard agree. That me. is strong, Ollie. <laughs> Unrealistic, Unrealistic yet intriguing ideas is basically my CV. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go neutral on that. If your friend is sad about something, your yeah. first instinct is to support them emotionally, not to try Ooh. to solve their problem. I would say I largely tried to solve problems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm more of an emotional supporter. People can rarely upset you. Yeah. I'm not incapable of being upset. You know, some of these people, you go through life and you're like, do you just not care about anything? Because you're just so chill. That's not me, right? Are you talking about no, me? No, <laughs> no, no. Okay. I'm a bit upset even <laughs> thinking about that. Yeah. I wouldn't say you're, re you're no. rarely upset. Yeah, no, all right. A soft disagree, maybe. If you... Okay. Maybe we should do this for each other. Maybe that would be better. Is that? Probably is. Should, should we swap? Should we swap? Okay, we're swapping, we're swapping. <laughs> okay. We're doing it for each other. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. I would agree. Mm. I don't think you worry about the impression that you make. I think you breeze yeah. through life making yeah. a good impression on basically everyone. <laughs> what? That's not true. I'm gonna go medium disagree. Man, what? Me you think I worry? What do you mean you think I worry about <laughs> whether I made a good impression? I don't think you do it always, but I wouldn't say you rarely worry. Oh, that's true. If I come out of a meeting, I'm like, do you think yeah. we came across well? And yeah. you're like, I don't know. I'm you... gonna go medium. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. Definitely made it a bad impression a on you. <laughs> <laughs> you are very affectionate with people you care about. Mm. I would say I am extremely affectionate. <laughs> You, you yeah. still deny that I am your okay. first wife. <laughs> you don't say that you love me. Yeah, I would have said I'm more affectionate than you. We definitely express you're, affection you, in different ways. You're more of a lone wolf. You're an idiot. That's no. definitely not true. <laughs> you're that a lone wolf. hundred percent not true. I'm gonna go medium agree for you. I'm gonna go strong disagree. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm going medium disagree. What? I'm an affectionate person. Mild disagree. Sure. Can I just say, it feels a little bit like you're caring what people think of you. It's just not making a very good impression. <laughs> <laughs> At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Ooh. Ooh. I know what the answer is for me. I'm Mr. Action. I'm yeah. not even close to the action. I am the action. You're the action. <laughs> the older I get, the size of the party has a big difference. I'd say it's a medium agree. I have you don't like being in the action. All right, medium. you stay calm under a lot of pressure. I would say a strong disagree from me. Stay no. calm <laughs> under a lot of pressure. It's a medium, medium disagree. Medium disagree. I don't do well under pressure. You do, I depending quite, what kind of pressure. Yeah, I think I generally prefer a bit of pressure All right. in order to be productive. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or movie. I feel like you like to do this. I love doing this. 
agrees. Yeah, strong I agree. Said, I strong said, agree. I was, I'm sending you parasite theories. Yeah, I'm I found like, on the internet. medium. Uh, I don't really put special effort, but I'm interested. You look after yourself first, and others come second. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to tell you what I put for that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your emotions control you more than you Ooh. control them. I don't want that to be true, but I feel like it is. I feel quite like that's true. A, a mild degree for both I, of us. No, but I think the process of growing up is learning to control your emotions, right? So I don't really know what the answer is to that. <laughs> okay. You still honor the commitments you have made, even if you have a change of heart. Ooh. I feel like you're better at this than I am. Yep. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> you are more flaky than me, but I think that maybe that's... I don't want to bring everything down to having kids, but okay. you're capable of doing less when you have children. Interesting. And so when you commit to something, you're it's like, a bigger deal. that's what I'm going to do. I think that just makes you more aware of... Like, if you said, I'm going to meet up that time, yeah. and you wake up and that morning and you're not feeling it, but you're like, oh, it's so much effort for them to get there. Yeah. Also, I think it's a part of me that's product of also me being less bothered by a lot of things because I'm so in the moment. If someone's like late to a meeting with me, I'll be like, oh, you know what? Okay, I can go do this thing. Yeah. I'm kind of not that bothered. You rarely feel insecure. Ooh. I mean, this is one of the ones that my answer as a teenager would be strong disagree. I always felt insecure as a teenager, but that's led to my personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yes, I would say I, re I rarely feel insecure. insecure right now because I know who I am. We're kind of old enough now. And yeah. maybe because we've been really blessed and lucky to have good people around us. Yeah. And like once you know, as Chris always says, once you know you're loved, there are important things in your life that mean much more than the other things that really would make you feel insecure. Yeah. And that's kind of where you can draw your security from. It's a weird one because I know that I'm very capable of feeling insecure. I, maybe it's an age thing. Yeah. I just don't feel it much anymore. Medium agree. Agree. Medium agree. Yeah. See results. <gasps> your personality type is debater. Your personality type is entertainer. <laughs> Entertainer? Wow. That's on point. Entertainer, and you're a debater. Like when we have Chris on. You're basically a debater. I'm just debating yeah. him, and you're comparing. So okay, back. okay, I'm fascinated by this. Entertainer, so what was your thing? ENTPT. And I'm an ESFP. We're both E and we're both P, but. Our two middle ones are different. Debaters you may know. Weird Al Yankovic is number one. Weird Al! Uh, He's a debater. He's not an entertainer. Oh, Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Okay. Tom okay. Hanks. Tom Hanks. Legend. Celine okay. Dion. Tyrion well. Lannister. Tyrion Lannister. He's my favourite character. I see that. I see it. Okay. My entertainers, Elton John, okay. Marilyn Monroe, Adele, Jamie Foxx, Steve Irwin, Miley Cyrus, Kenny from Big Bang Theory, Jack Dawson from the Titanic. <laughs> Jack. Jack. My strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Are, I'm strengths are I'm bold, original, aesthetics and showmanship. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. I think, I uh, think everyone can see that. <laughs> <laughs> practical, interesting. Observant, excellent people skills. And my weaknesses are that I'm sensitive. Okay. Conflict averse. Yes. That is definitely true. Definitely and you true. are definitely not conflict averse. <laughs> okay, easily bored. Yeah. Poor long term planners. <laughs> yeah. Okay, unfocused. <laughs> right, that's, yeah, right. that's a lot of weaknesses. Yeah. My strengths yeah. are knowledgeable. Very true. Quick, yeah. quick thinker. Yeah, that's true. Original. Okay, shared, shared uh, strength there. Excellent brainstormers. Okay, oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah Charismatic, okay. yes. energetic. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Prepare myself. <laughs> for the weaknesses. Debater weaknesses. <laughs> Very argumentative. <Yeah. laughs> okay. uh, insensitive. Okay. Intolerant. Yeah. Can find it difficult to focus. Dislike practical matters. Okay, right. I like how you steamrolled straight through them. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly. It's like reading Rip my school it off report. Like a bad <laughs> Okay. Kendall is very argumentative, yeah, okay. <laughs> insensitive, he's intolerant. I love it. So what do you think, Ollie? Do you embrace your personality type? Uh, you think it sums you up well? Not entirely. Okay. I'd like to reject all Four of the letters. negative sides. Yeah. <laughs> 
and challenge them <laughs> okay. to a logical debate. <laughs> <You're an idiot. laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's not going to be like 100%, is it? It can't be. You guys at home, <laughs> yeah. maybe some of you guys might know this test. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. I kind of trust our Jolly Beans no. more than a random I'm, website. Oh, this is an interesting question. Sorry, just bring it I mean, we're wrapping the video, but yeah. I feel like because I guess we're doing it with just our, the two of us, the version of ourselves that's on camera is completely us. Yeah. I feel like. Whereas if you meet me in the street, that version of me may be less me mm -hmm. because there's a lot of other factors. Whereas I feel like the version of us on here is a fairly pure version of yeah. us. Well, guys. That has been our jolly personality test. Yeah, it was a little bit of fun, that. Yeah. I'm gonna go read a little bit. Wow, that was a strange sound. Sorry, <laughs> I was just an eagle cry. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm gonna go delve into a little bit more. Yeah. What an entertainer is. Maybe not gonna delve too much into debate. Because <laughs> I don't wanna overthink it. I feel like I'm in the right line of work. It's yeah. kind of the roles that we play. Yeah, a little bit. I'm more of an antagonist. I don't think you're a negative person at all. So it's funny that they chose that word to sum up your entire personality. Yeah, it is. A little bit harsh. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. But I'm used to that. I'm used to that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Anyway, yeah, let's know in the he's comments joking. if you think that personality was test was accurate. And in the meantime, we'll see you jolly soon. See you later. Bye.